Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and tonight, well, we're going to be doing something pretty damn cool. We're going to be playing a game that was never meant to be played in virtual reality in virtual reality. I know, right? So tonight we're going to be taking a look at the real mod for GTA 5. And man, I got to thank user Buck Johnston over on the uh, Pimax uh, Reddit. Yeah, I was over there just reading through posts like I do every night and I saw that he had posted a question asking if anyone had tried the new update that came out, I think yesterday for this mod. Now, I tried it when it first came out and well, it was pretty bad because it was truly meant for Oculus. Well, I'm happy to say that the developer of the mod has added full Steam VR support and now it is working in our Pimax 5K Plus and other Pimax headsets, I'm sure. So I just fired it up and man, I gotta tell you, I am amazed at how cool it is just walking around in Los Santos. Now, couple of caveats there. It's not perfect. This game was never meant to be played in VR, so don't expect it to be a completely native experience. Because of the way that he's doing the stereo 3D, there, there's a little kind of flashing, you know? You got to keep parallel projections on, or you get some pop-ins and some other weird flashes. But does it make the game somewhat playable? Absolutely. Is it just mind-blowing being able to just walk around Los Santos and soak up the atmosphere in the wide field of view of a Pimax headset? Holy hell, yes. So I also played this at the 120 hertz mode. Uh, I haven't tried it to see if it even goes wider field of view and has issues. Uh, we may do that in another video, but for right now I'm concentrating on 120 hertz content with this because I'm loving it. So, all right, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the mod real quick and then we're gonna jump into a little gameplay and I'll let you go. Okay, so if you want to try to install the mod yourself, and, and man, it is super simple. It is not a tough mod to install at all. All you're going to need to do is follow the steps that I've laid out in this video. So basically, just head right here to Luke Ross's GitHub page. Luke is the developer of this mod, super talented guy, and thank you so much for this early Christmas gift, man. Now, once you're here, Highly recommend that you pay attention to the release two notes here. Uh, I'm going to give you the highlights so you know you can skim it, but it is going to work for the different headsets natively now. So if you're running an Oculus, it's going to start the OVR service. If you're running one of the Steam VR headsets like a Pimax, a, a Vive, an Index, it, it's got you covered. It's just going to kick into the Steam VR support by default. Now, in order to do that, you need to make sure that you're running at least the Steam Steam VR beta 1.9.13. Now I'm assuming that is the freshest beta because when I started Steam VR today, it literally told me that I had just been updated to that automatically. And you can see that the mod just came out 16 hours ago. So all right, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is make sure that motion smoothing is turned off. Uh, if you've got a Pimax headset, go into your Pi tool, make sure that you turn off smart motion. You don't want any of that stuff turned on, otherwise the mod's going to get really wiggy. Now, once you've done all that, last thing you need to do, just click right here and download the file. After you've downloaded it, just go ahead and get it unrard. There you go. And we'll get it unrarred. I've already done it, so obviously it's saying that I need to replace the files. Okay, so once you've got it unrarred here, it's just gonna, you know, obviously dump it in your downloads folder, or you can set the path manually during the unrarring to just go ahead and dump it into the correct folder. Now, that really depends on where you have your GTA 5 installed. If you've got it installed for Steam, I've got the uh, actual Rockstar version. It is gonna be in different places, so you're gonna wanna look for that. Now, for me, all I had to do, unrar it to the downloads folder, and we're just going to basically take these, we're going to copy these files over to where I have the game installed. So once we're in here, we're just going to go ahead and tell it to paste. Now, if you had done any of the previous mods, it is going to go ahead and ask you to replace some of the files in the destination. Just tell it that is perfectly fine. 
boom, you can see all of those files are now in place and ready to go. Now, we've got one more step that we need to do. So, after you do that, you're going to want to head to your Documents folder, you're going to want to head to your Rockstar Games folder, your GTA 5 folder, and you're going to find this settings.xml. Now, I've already done it once again, but what you're going to want to do is just copy the settings.xml and then literally just paste it back right here. You're going to see it creates that settings.xml that dash copy XML and then all I did was rename that to backup just in case I ever needed it to get myself out of a pinch that way I don't have to reinstall the whole game now once you've done that you're simply just gonna go back to where you have the game installed you're gonna go into the settings folder and you're gonna see two other folders called high or low these are for high spec machines low spec machines you get the gist so if you're running say like I am a GTX 1080 Ti or one of the new RTX 20 cards you're gonna obviously be able to run it at high if you're running something lower than that well you're probably gonna to wanna to go ahead and stick to the low spec here so once you've gotten that you're gonna see the familiar settings.xml file we're just gonna simply copy that and then we're going to go right back over here to our documents, Rockstar Games, GTA, and we're just going to paste it and overwrite. Okay, so now that you've done all that, you're ready to grab a controller, put on your headset, and explore Los Santos. So now you, you do notice I said grab a controller. This is not going to work with your Vive wants. It's not going to work with your index controllers. It's not going to work with your touch controllers. There is no motion control support in this. There are other mods that allow that, but I don't know if they would break this. So I'm not even going to try. I, I kind of like playing with the controller every once in a while. Kind of feels old school. So, all right, let's get in there and let's check it out. All right, here we are. We are finally in the game. And man, I got to tell you, I used to play this actually back in the DK2 days, if you can imagine that, using Vorpix. And, you know, it, it never looked this good. I, I mean, absolutely stunning. I, I, uh, this, this is amazing, guys. I, I tell you what, the, the field of view is amazing in the Pimax, obviously, and I mean, it's just making it so much more immersive walking around in Los Santos here. So everything's looking good. Uh, you know, obviously, got a little lazing going on, uh, but the graphics are nice and tight. Um, the frame rate is excellent. I am running this in the 120 hertz mode, and. Yeah, you're right. God, this is just nuts. I cannot believe that one guy figured out how to do this. So come on, Rockstar. You gotta give us GTA 6 in full virtual reality. So I'm not gonna play a lot of the game, guys. I just really wanted to kind of run around a little bit and show you that it actually works. Um, obviously, right now, I've got the uh, head tracking steering on. Now, there are a lot of different configuration settings that you can do to the uh, to the mod. Um, I'm not gonna actually spend a lot of time in this video going over those, but I am gonna leave a link for everything that you need to get this going down in the description. Now, um, I'm gonna put myself in some drag myself to some trouble here uh, hit me no okay well if you get hit by a car you know you, you've got some animations that are a little rough um, let's go see if I can like get hit here um, but yeah, if you've played the game you know you know what I'm talking about I mean it it kind of flips you and twists you no, I guess I can't get anybody to run me over. So, but it, it, it is kind of rough. Now, one thing that I will also say works pretty damn good in this is right here. You've got the third person mode. So, you know, for those times that you don't want to have those rough animations, you can just switch over to third person. And it's actually got a, a free camera here. So I can really kind of get that camera set exactly where I want it and you know I can still rotate here but as long as I don't move up and down on the right stick I can have it where I want it y you've got um, you got the pullback here you got the really far pullback and you know I I've always loved third person in VR as well I mean so this is just the best of both worlds here I am digging it so, all right. Hey, I like your car. Get out of your car. 
Get out your car, I'm taking it. Yeah. Oh, y'all, get out, get out. Oh, God, and the sense of speed is great. And there we go, right there, first person driving. Now, you know, like I said, it, it is not for everybody. So if you suffer from VR sickness, this one might get you a little bit, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I played it a little bit the other night just to make sure everything was working before I got the video popping here. And it, it got me a little dizzy, I, I, I won't lie. Uh, but not to the point where I could say that it's not fully playable because, you know, if it starts making you a little dizzy, just come out to the third person view and then you get the great view of the world and you don't have to worry about all the dizziness, so. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do here other than just kind of play the game, but I, I do want to keep this video kind of short. The, the, the purpose of this is not to actually play the game on camera for you guys. It, it was really just to show you how to install the mod and how to get everything working. And you can see it is working swimmingly. So, all right, I think we're going to just drive out into the country here and call it a day. But uh, I will leave links for everything you need in the description. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more GTA 5 gameplay in the Pimax, just hit me up in the uh, comments and, and let me know, hey, Don, you know, we'd love to see a live stream of this or we'd love to see, you know, uh, more of this kind of stuff on the channel. But for me, ooh, as I crash my car here, that's going to do it. This is Don signing off. Peace.